all want better battery life. Not just for our phones, but for electric vehicles, home power, and a bunch of other uses. But right now, the best way we have to increase battery life is building bigger batteries. That doesn't always help when physical space is limited. This week though, researchers at Stanford University revealed a potentially major advancement that could make future batteries both lighter and longer lasting. For a couple of years now, scientists have positioned lithium metal batteries as the next major breakthrough in battery technology, thanks to two main advantages over their lithium ion counterparts. First, they can store at least 33% more power per pound. And second, they're significantly lighter. Sounds great, except this type of battery has been prone to developing small tendril-like protrusions called dendrites. Over time, dendrites can puncture the protective film that separates the positive and negative ends of the battery, which can lead to short-circuiting and fires. Not something we want in our batteries. The researchers at Stanford have developed a new battery coating that significantly reduces dendrite growth while also extending the battery's lifespan. Using this new film, the researchers built a lithium metal battery that held 85% of its charge after 160 recharge cycles, compared to the 30% charge level found in other lithium metal batteries after the same amount of use. Of course, there's a big difference between lab testing and getting lithium metal batteries into millions of consumer devices. Stanford's researchers said this coating only solves some of the problems associated with lithium metal batteries, which means we're still likely years away from seeing this tech ready for commercial use. Stanford has been working on these batteries since 2015, so we're gonna have to keep being patient. But when the alternative is exploding phones or cars, a little patience seems like a good thing. In the meantime, you can keep up with all the cool advancements in technology by subscribing to Engadget. Thank you for watching.